we're going to talk about this color because this color is to die for. I love this color. Welcome back to Wigan with Christy. I'm Christy and I'm here to bring you a review today of Beltrash Sugar Rush in color Mocha with Cream. This review for you today is brought to you by Wig Studio One. And Dre over there sent me this wig to review and show you and tell you more about this wig. I hope you enjoy this review. Make sure to check out Wig Studio One's Facebook group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. They also have Instagram and a Facebook page as well. Be sure to check those out. Down below will be links to all that as well as links to this wig and their website. So let's talk about Beltress Sugar Rush. Isn't this a gorgeous wig? We're gonna talk about this color because this color is to die for. I love this color. It's just a gorgeous, luscious color. And these fibers feel so real. Beltress is amazing with that. Just a natural density and a natural feel to the fibers. They're not shiny. They're just gorgeous. It, this feels like my real hair. I've had my bio hair this color before when my hair was healthy and whole. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I'm loving it. So this wig is a straight, lightly layered, long piece. It has built-in volume right up here. So it does have some permatease right in there. Yep, right in there. It's 100% hand-tied mono top. So this whole section, I had no idea that Beltress even made mono tops. <laughs> so when I got this, I was so excited uh, because I love mono tops. So the lace, you will see when we see inside the cap, but it goes from here to here and back here. So great parting capabilities with this. It gives it that natural, multi-directional parting for your scalp. It's just so cute. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I do. It's heat-friendly fibers, so you can style this, you can curl it, you can put a flat iron to it, whatever you like to do. Just make sure not to go over 350 degrees on these fibers. Sugar Rush is part of their cafe collection. This is an average size cap. Fits me really well. I have a very large head. Here are my measurements for reference. Let's talk about measurements on this piece. The bang is seven inches. The sides are 12 inches. The nape is 13 inches. And the back is nine and a half. So there is like that layer in the back. Overall, this wig length is 12 inches to 19 and a half inches because of all the length and layers. The weight is 5.2 ounces. So it is a little bit heavier because of the length. Now I wanna to talk to you about the heat friendly fibers. You do wanna be careful with them. You wanna make sure that you always have a wide tooth comb on hand and HD detangler spray. Me personally, I'm really hard on my wigs usually, and so um, I'm a little nervous about the HD fibers, but I, a lot of people love them because they feel so natural, and they have such a natural movement. And if I wanted to, I could add curls in this piece. I mean, I could go straight, and then I can add curls. Now keep in mind, if you have a heat-friendly wig that already has a wave in it, if you style it, you will lose that original pattern once you put heat to it. Let's go ahead and do a spin. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this gorgeous color because I went digging around for information about these colors. What I found from Beltress is that this color code is a 2R61336. That is a rich, darkest brown root with a blend of dark chocolate, brown and cinnamon, along with milk chocolate, cool blonde, and light blonde highlights. I'm gonna take off the wig in just a minute and show you this up close. 
It's just a gorgeous color. Hi guys, I wanted to show you outside look at this logo and cream. It's not a super sunny day here in California, very cloudy. So, but there's still some blue skies. So let's go ahead and look inside the cap. Oh, look at that color. Full mono top. We have the Hermitise right up in this section back right in here. The open wefted, very stretchy, very stretchy cap. You can bring this in though. Um, this is a bra strap and it's not an extended nape, okay? So it's just a straight nape there. Um, I typically like extended napes, but I do like this. Let's go ahead and part this down the middle and see what it looks like. So you can part it any way you want. If you're a right-sided part person, you can bring it over the right side like that you can train this with a curling iron and a straightener since these are heat friendly fibers you can pin it over they are a dramatic bang there so you just have to train it you could also do that like this I'd just like to thank Andrea with Wig Studio One for sending me this wig to review for you today. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure to check out Wig Studio One's Facebook page and their website. If you'd like to order this wig, you can do so with them and the link will be down in the description of this video. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have your support. Leave a comment, leave a message for me and I'll comment back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys have a great day. Shine bright, love others and be kind. Bye.